I'm Jamie. And I'm Meredith, and we're with Coastal Business Supplies. In this video, we are going to compare the premium Jet Cold DHS sublimation paper versus standard sublimation paper right after this. And we're back. So today we are going to be talking about our Jet Cold DHS sublimation paper versus standard sublimation paper. So there are a few benefits to the Jet Cold sublimation paper which includes a 50% reduction in your transfer time. So that's a huge savings, as well as a reduction of your ink. So there is a Sawgrass VPM setting that you can change where it includes the Jet Cold DHS paper. Or if you do not have a Sawgrass printer, you can also use a color profile that you have created yourself. Okay, so now we're gonna get started on pressing. So Mary's gonna take us through the pressing process. Okay, first we're going to take off the protective liner. And we're gonna adhere it to both of our transfer papers with thermal tape. So we have our jet coal and we have our leading brand. We'll put it image side up. Normally we would press these at 45 seconds, but today we're gonna to press it at 20 seconds. And if you notice, there is a huge benefit for the DHS sublimation paper because it has a grid on the back. So now you can know what side to print on. So again, we're gonna see the reduction between the two. So again, the DHS is gonna provide um, half the time. Okay, as always, you're gonna to wanna to remove the paper immediately using your your protective gloves. We do sell the thermal gloves online at coastalbusiness.com. So this is the jet coal. And again, we did these at 20 seconds. And then this is the standard paper. So you can actually see the difference in the transfer. Yeah, so the black shines through a lot more, all the colors shine through a lot more, so you can definitely see the, how the reduction is in place. So again, 20 seconds, 400 degrees. Um, we're using MDF, um, our coasters, on, on this particular product. And you can see that a lot of the ink has left the page versus the standard sublimation paper where there's still a lot of ink left on that, on that transfer sheet. So now we're gonna move on to another blank just to kind of compare with different substrates. So this is a FRP luggage tag that we're gonna be using today. And there is no protective liner on this one, but it's always good to check with all of your blanks to make sure there is not one. This is the jet coal. Again, we're going to use our thermal tape to tape it on there. And this is the standard brand. And again, these do press at 45 seconds at 400 degrees. So we're going to put them in the press at 20 seconds to see um, how big of a difference it does make with the time reduction. Okay, it's getting ready to go. So let's see the, the next item. Okay, this would be the standard paper at 20 seconds. And this would be the jet coal. So again, this is another color. It has a lot of pastel colors in it. also has your black in it. You can definitely see there's a difference in all the color shades, um, how they kind of come through. So again, with this, uh, this transfer as well, you'll notice that with the sublimation paper, standard sublimation paper, you do have a lot more ink on the page. So it didn't transfer because it does need a little bit of a longer transfer time versus the Jet Cold DHS paper where all the ink has left the page like your normal transfer will look like at standard time. So again, there's the two comparisons that we have here. Um, so again, with, with this paper, um, you're gonna really save on that transfer time. Again, it's 50% reduction time um, depending on your substrates. We've tested a lot of substrates for the, for the most part um, all across the board, um, you're gonna get that 50% reduction time. Testing is always you know, necessary for those items. Um, again, it has a higher transfer yield and you do save on your ink because um, it doesn't lay as much ink down on your transfer paper. 
So as always, thank you for watching our video tutorial. And if you have any questions, please comment below. See you next time.